What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna discuss fat influencers. So without further ado guys, let's get straight into the video. Just because I'm fat, that doesn't invalidate the things that I say. She died. You ready to get supersized? She died too. Oh my Today I got the big fruit loop. <laughs> He's dead. Fat Shit. positive influencers are dying. So we yeah. all know the fat acceptance movement at this point. I sadly did not get a McChicken today. I was feeling like a burger girl. Here's one of the fat pos- Guys, this is very dangerous. And I've seen more and more fat models are appearing. Just like when I'm looking on Instagram, they're just appearing. Fat models after fat models after fat models. And that's what I think is so detrimental in our society today because you cannot strive to become fat. That is, that should not be a goal in your life. But then again, nowadays, people are just super weak and have no backbone. Positive influencers named Brittany, oh. who promoted fat positivity on TikTok. We'll and this is one of the last videos she posted before she died, where she pretty much regretted everything. Here's a caption. I wish I could turn back time and have not stopped when it got hard, not given up when the grief hit me. That's life though. This has to be the final time I pick myself up off the ground because I'm scared I'm going to end up in a very bad place that my body can't recover from. And she was right. I ruined my life with food. Um, binge eating. My condolences go out to her family. But one thing which I just don't understand because I was living alone in my apartment. This was a while ago and I was struggling. And I remember like just, just to make money for food was very difficult. I don't understand how these models or these influencers can get so much money so they can just continue shoving cupcakes and cookies up their mouth i mean they're just getting fatter and fatter and you see the thing is it's super crazy like the people which are rational they actually try to tell these people like this is not gonna work you can't continue this path but then again who are you gonna listen to the crowd which is egging you on to do stupid shit like this or the rational people, which you view as haters. And lack of self-care. Um, and I'm hoping that it's not too late for me this time. Mm. Um, you know, I ain't been to the store in two years, maybe more now, I guess. Um, I went to the post office once and that was hard. I went to urgent care and- I mean, she can't just, she can't even speak. When she's talking, she's, you can hear her breath. You can hear how tired she is. I thought my legs were going to give yeah. out from under me. Yeah. It's too much weight for your knees. This is the grim reality of what happens when you take part in fat positivity here. Now, I feel absolutely horrible for her. This is mm. a, a situation that actually nobody wants to be in. But when you've been lied to by society th saying that addiction is completely OK, this is kind of the result. OK, when modern society tells you it's OK to be extremely obese to the point where you can't even walk and you should somehow be proud of that, you know? And if you dig into it a little bit deeper, you'll realize that they're just trying to make money from you you know but this is weird because okay i haven't seen so many male influencers which are like super fat but is this just like something which i've seen from women it must be mostly women which do this right because usually we're pretty harsh when it comes to men we're pretty harsh we'll tell it to your face like you're too fat you need to hit the gym and if you have real friends around They'll filter that away. So I'm just wondering, is this like, leave it in the comment section. I'm genuinely wondering if this is just a male problem or a female problem. Saying that it's okay to be fat, you'll be eating shit tons of fast food, which nowadays we have like two McDonald's and one goddamn block. Like they'll tell you, you should be perfectly proud of giving into your addiction and eating anything you want. And then they'll sell you these random drugs and needles like Ozempic to magically make you feel better and magically create fat loss. But that I know I'm just sidestepping right now, but have you guys ever thought like, why do we have bars 
and cars next to each other. I mean, shouldn't it be illegal? If drinking and driving is illegal, why can you sit in a car and drive? Like, it makes no sense. Why would they allow that? Why would they allow you to fuck up if it's illegal? Shouldn't they just like take it away like they take away hard drugs or whatever, you know? So it's the same thing here. Like, I think being fat, it should not be illegal, but we should have like a weight requirement in society. That's not really how it works. Anything meaningful in life is always behind a layer of hard work and discipline. Yeah. Um, Cause I had to stand there the entire time after walking in, you know, I kept just looking back at the chair and just praying that I could just make it another second until she was done with me. You know, um, I, I can't even, I couldn't even probably go check the mail right now between, you know, the, the growth I have in my uh, fupa. So not my apron, but my pelvic region. It's about 30, 40 pounds. But not even that, it's the confidence also which gets destroyed when you're a fat person. Because no one is interested. Maybe, maybe there's some guys which have like a fetish for fat women. Pounds now. Oh um, I God. go in January to see what it is because apparently um, there has been a big misunderstanding where my doctor thought I was having issues with my apron, but no, it is the growth below that that I have to physically move when I walk. Listen guys, like a lot of people in modern society now, they put their health as the last priority, right? Mm. I gotta, I gotta work, I gotta make money, I gotta mm. do all these other things. And then health is pushed to the very last mm. one of them. Oh, I don't have time. But you only have one body and mm. it's only a matter of time before some sort of permanent damage occurs yeah. to you. You should get good rest. You should eat healthy. You should go to the gym. I think that's more important than even working your body and you can always make money later you can always mm. do everything else later but once damage is done to your body that is very 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 hard to fix so i'd always encourage everybody to focus on their health first and foremost right anytime i roll or move or anything i have to adjust it um and i can't wear my leggings or shorts anymore <sighs> i'm out of breath constantly you know and i wish i knew the cost of eating i wish i knew the cost of the the comfort at the time that I was seeking. Um, and I just want this to be a warning to other people that just need to hear the hard truth, you know, that if you, <clears throat> if you keep it up and you keep, you know, gaining and not taking care of yourself mm. and moving around and doing what you need to do, you know, your health is going to decline. I'm really proud of her for posting this video because despite the fact that she was actually part of this movement and promoting this sort of lifestyle, she's finally come to understand what sort of uh, consequences this has on other people. And them hearing it from another sort of fat positive influencer mm -hmm. will do wonders way more than I could ever say because they'll probably just ignore. Yeah, because it's like you're listening to the skinny guy talk and you think that the skinny guy or the guy which goes to the gym all the time doesn't really put in any work. That's how they view it, right? And I'm just like, bro, there are no shortcuts in life. I'm, I'm sitting here every single day posting YouTube videos, learning how the algorithm works. Why? Because there are no shortcuts. I need to sit and put in the work. It's, it's very tragic, it is, but that's what happens. And it's a sad story, but it's a story which needs to be told on this channel and so many other channels where it's like, where we stop motivating women to be fat, women to be lazy. Because you see, the thing is like most of these girls look for the easy way out. And that's why OnlyFans is so prevalent right now, because it's so easy. It's so easy to make money. You can just sell your pictures. But the repercussions for that is you destroy your whole life. And if people find out that you've been doing that, bro, they lose all respect for you. So yeah, life is about hard work and there are no shortcuts in life. And I wish, I wish somebody could have just explained it to her. But there are a lot of people which probably tried. I don't think 
there was just one person like the comments look at so many comments i sit through my comments and i answer them and if people are attacking me or they're talking shit i'm like okay yes i understand even even though somebody might criticize me or make a joke or whatever you know i always listen to it because you can always learn something from people even your haters even sometimes my haters they say something i'm like yeah he's right about that i'm gonna write that down and i'm gonna change that even my haters but but you have to you have to be able to listen to other people now people are in their echo chambers no i don't i don't want to hear i don't want to hear that doesn't work life doesn't work that way you can't just shut your ears and expect everything to just work out no you need to put in the work so harping back to what i said before there are no shortcuts in life for me or something i'm really proud of her for actually posting this this is, is going to help a lot of people i do what i need to do you know to take care of my husband and stuff still and i make things work and i can do the things that i need to do but they're very very hard <laughs> you know i had to have help trimming my toenails the other day because I felt so out of breath trying to lean over and do my toes. There's just a lot that is taken away from me. And I want you to know that it's not worth it. It, it never is. It's not worth never your is. life. I really hope that I can turn it around this time because it's... It's really scary how bad things can get. It really is. I'm... And it's it's never worth it. It's never worth to give in to your short-term desires for and sacrifice your long-term health there. And what people don't understand is you don't have to give up the foods you love. You don't have to give up everything nice in the world or something. In fact, you'll probably enjoy the food way more mm. if you actually uh, go through that layer. Bro, just do it once a week. If you want to go to McDonald's, do it once a week. The rest of the week, you're disciplined. And that's why I'm saying church is so so good because you just do it once a week you get to go to church just once a week and it what it's an hour you get to go then the whole week you can be doing your bullshit i wouldn't advise you to do it but bro that's discipline of discipline and understanding that hey there's times i can eat this there's times i can mm -hmm. and uh you know if, if you have it in controlled amounts it's like everybody's had that experience of eating mcdonald's seven days in a row and by the third day you start you you actually just hate it and you're just confused like hey i, I love mcdonald's why do i suddenly hate it because you're having it over and over but it's not it's not even that bro mcdonald's the food itself they put something in the food honestly because Sometimes I crave a uh, big tasty. I crave that burger and I'm just like, why? What am I craving this burger? Why? There's 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 something. They should double check those burgers because there's something. I don't know if they put cocaine or they sprinkle a little I don't know what they put in that, but that shit is so addictive. Over and over again right that's kind of how it works there and um it might like temporarily satiate you or something obviously it's going to taste better than i don't know normal chicken breast or whatever which is not fried or whatever but what about how it makes you feel after you got to take into all these considerations rest in peace Brittany. thanks for your powerful message mm -hmm. there it's never too late we can be your community we can be with you every step of the way sending <sighs> you love i'm almost 500 pounds and completely bed bound now it's scary how bad my health has gotten i want to make a change so bad it's so hard wish you the best and all you got to know no, is that there's millions and I made a video where I was joking about this guy and people were roasting me. Oh, I hope, I hope, hope he's not dead. I hope. Pray to God he's not dead. But I remember this content creator, I made like a reaction a long time ago. This was maybe what, a year? Yeah, a year back. I was roasting him. And I went in. I went in. And I got with people like, oh, he's, he's, he's actually doing, I'm like, bro, no, nah, bro, no, nah, no, nah, no way. He's not, he's not doing anything to try to change his situation. But then again, I do not know, but please don't say that he's dead. Just 
millions of people out here with you in the same journey going through the same struggles and you can always reach out and ask people how they do it how they how they overcome this sort sort of impossible seeming task you know i started this year at 576 i finally found a medication combo that works for me i'm currently at 523 it's rough listening to everything you are awesome progress i hope 2023 continues to be successful i hope you found what works for you so he's really uh seems like a good person over here i haven't seen the rest of it and then the thing is also like this because I think the reason why I hate people like this is because growing up, I never got this. Nothing was ever sugar-coated for me, right? I was, I grew up in the harshest circumstances and that's why I can do what I can do today because I've been tested physically, mentally, I've been tested. And it's very, very difficult to, to break my psyche, it is. And you know, I can complain sometimes, I can lash out, but to break my psyche, if you're going up against me at anything and I decide I'm going to do this, it's, I don't know. I feel sorry for the person which is going to go up against me at anything content but i just know from this video that she really means well you know there's this video that's sort of going viral as well basically yeah. showing all these fat positive influencers just dropping like flies essentially and it's really sad just because i'm fat that doesn't invalidate the things that i say she died you ready to get supersized she died too today i've got 37 hold up what Heart failure kills body positive activists at 37. It's just, there's a, there's an innumerable amount of issues. Every single issue that a normal person has, like heart problems or potentially getting diseases and stuff, it is magnified times, times 50, times 100 chance when you get to that size, you know? Today I've got the big fruit loop. <laughs> He's dead. Dead oh at 33. Man. These, all these people. Oh, 33. He's hanging with Christ already today, bro. That's crazy. 33. Are dying so young as well. They had like such, so much more life to live. Imagine dying at 33, dude. You had, I don't know, what's the average lifespan? Like 80 or something. That's 47 years of your life that you've lost because you succumbed to short-term gratification there, you know? Join me on my fat positive radio show. Which didn't last long because she died. That's, that's ridiculous. Jesus. She's, she's ruthless. Oh boy. Personal health is of the utmost importance. A very simple concept to adhere to. Moderate hand to mouth, increased feet to ground. Being lazy makes for an easy habit. Being obese makes for a difficult life. The problems that come with not being uh, fit pretty much outweigh everything. It'll affect every but I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. These videos are so fucking funny to watch. They're so like, I'm just saying. I'm not attacking anybody. I'm saying, bro, these videos are funny to watch. They are funny. I get, I get why they get like so many views because, bro, you're just laughing, bro. Like this Nick Avocado guy. This, this guy has made me laugh more than Cat Williams. And that's saying something because Cat Williams is my favorite comedian of all time. Every single aspect of your life will make you tired. It'll make you less productive in your work. It'll make you emotional. It'll make you lash out at people, affect your relationships. So. That's uh, your mind and body are connected, you know, you gotta gotta stay on top of that. The one body you should be positive about is a healthy one. Your body is God's temple, treat it accordingly. And honestly, like, it doesn't matter where you start. It doesn't matter if you start at 1,000 pounds or if you start at 100 pounds, okay? It, it's all about actually getting on the journey and oh. taking that first step to making your life, uh... Damn, I was wrong about this guy. He's actually training, I guess. Uh, better, you know? Here we have another article with just a morbid headline. These four social media influencers were swept up by a movement that claims obesity is perfectly healthy. The tragic truth is they all died under the age of 45. A well-known activist, professor of fat studies. The fact that there is a professor of fat studies just shows where society is at. There's no, nothing to study there. Dr. Cat Paws, who questioned the links between weight and health, lost her life aged 42. Based in Massey University in New Zealand, she she also presented a fat positive radio show. Uh, what can I say? Your life's work was literally just inspiring other people to become like you and essentially just promoting uh, promoting them to harm themselves. And the worst part about all these situations is that these people think they're actually doing a good thing here. They think they're being the nice ones here. When in reality, the people that are mean or whatever, the people that are actually telling you the truth. Yeah, that's what I say. The people which are giving you that harsh truth, the cold shower, those are the people which you hate.
and you attack and you push away and you don't want to listen to them. No, I don't brought like how you're going to push forward. You need the haters. You need it. Sometimes the haters, man, if you want me to stop, just say, hey, good job. If you want me to stop, but the hate, brother, the hate gets me going, bro. It's my motivation. Are actually the nice ones in the situation because they're saving you from dying at age flipping mm. 42. Jamie Lopez, who starred in US reality TV show Super Size Salon, died from heart complications age 37 last December. I wonder what's going to happen to Lizzo. She's, oof, she's pretty big. That one. And there's always going to be people willing to exploit these sort of situations and all these TV shows and stuff like that to p put these people in the spotlight, give them all this brand deals or whatever. I I'm not going to be surprised if JB, the woman we covered uh, asking for free extra airline seats, is going to die in the next few years either because there's. Bruh, that's crazy. Don't wish death upon anybody. She, sa she shows no signs of stopping. She wants the entire world to change for her. And you know she's suffering. Nobody at that size can have a healthy and fulfilled life, you know? Classic Cosmopolitan magazine. Bro, look, it feels like the aeroplane is gonna be flying a little <laughs> sideways. Just joking. Oh, oh my god, I hate Campbell Davidson for saying that. Bro, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just, bro. Yeah, anyway, guys, uh, that's where we're gonna end this video. Very, very informative, very interesting, but... Then again, I say the exact same thing to make a long story long. Guys, never take the easy way out. I understand. I get it. It's hard waking up every day, but always think like this. I get to wake up. The Lord has given me one more day. And uh, from the words of Cat Williams, you know, every night before you go to bed, Think to yourself, that could have been it. That could have been it. And if that's it, hopefully you did the right things.